Whew, that's better. So, we are in the TV studio right now. And nobody's here. Nobody's here. I don't think nobody's here. Anyways, this is uh, my official, unofficial studio. Uh, whatever, come on in. Oh, man. This place is a complete mess. Gear gauge. Supposed to be working on something later. I work on some old court tapes and stuff. Some good old fun stuff. Bunch of hard drives. Yeah, basic studio. No, funny thing is, this isn't even my this isn't even my room. Like if you could see this, I actually got locked out one time. And I didn't have any way to get back in, so I just left a sticky note on the door to kind of say, like, don't, you know, don't lock me out. <laughs> like, literally, everybody has a key in this place except for me. Like, I literally just have, I literally just have the key fob, like, to get into the door, and that's literally it. Like, I don't have nothing else at all. Like, I literally have nothing else at all. That's the only way I can get inside is just leaving a, <laughs> a sticky note on the door. So yeah, also this is what I look like, by the way. But as y'all might know, due to coronavirus, we are kind of in, you know, lockdown right now. And I know some of y'all might be thinking, why am I even at this studio? Why am I at the TV studio? Well, here, actually, let me go sit down. We can talk about this. Uh, all right, I see anyways. Hold up. Oof. Oof, that's better. So, anyways, I, like I've said, I think, I'm, I don't know if I've said this before, but I basically work for PBS in partnership with WFSU Public Media. That has been where I've been working at for a little bit of time now, have me doing, I've been doing various projects, whether it's been you name it, graphic design, animation, video production, editing, live events, interviews, I've done stuff for the governor. So we have a lot of things that we typically do at this station. But if you're watching this and you see the date of this video, you know that we're currently in a pandemic, especially in the state of Florida. So right now we're basically limited staff to a point where there's almost no staff in station unless you absolutely need to. Right now, my job has been for the past almost two months now, has been to basically work on any type of backtracking that we never did, that we probably should have did earlier on, earlier on in the year, but we couldn't because of other events and other things that were going on within the station that we had to take care of. So right now, I am currently one of the only people even at this station. This is a very large station. I wanna say we have the largest studio in the whole, like in this whole area, general area in the whole county, as far as from Tallahassee all the way over to Pensacola. I think we have like the biggest station, the biggest, uh, in-house studio that that is even around so typically we usually have a lot of live events a lot of a lot of sets a lot of television shows but because of the covid situation we've had to kind of put that at a halt so right now we're more or less taking care of business that was supposed to be kind of spread out within the year or years and we're kind of doing that now to a point where we've actually already caught up so right now what they've been having me do is 
we have a contract with the United States uh, Supreme Court or the Florida Supreme Court. I don't know how to say that. We have a contract with the Florida Supreme Court where they have a website or we have a website where we basically publish all of the court cases with the Supreme Court that's happened going back decades ago. But the thing is, is that those tapes that happened decades ago, you know, it's exactly that. They were recorded on tapes. They were recorded on tapes, they were recorded on cassettes. And so it's very difficult to try to get these online. You know, how would you put a cassette on tape? How would you put a tape online? What you have to do is basically take this and convert it to a, you have to run it through a up converter, which basically takes this, it, you put it through the up converter, you basically record it and then you, you basically transform these old these old tapes into mp4 files that you can then edit and essentially and then once you have these mp4 files that you can then edit you can then cut them slice them and you know divide them up and make them look better make them look a little bit more newer you know and zhuzh them up a bit just for the web and that's essentially what i've been doing for the past couple months you know it's boring work but you know it's work you know i've been lucky enough to have work where a lot of people haven't so i'm incredibly thankful for that and you know it's something that we have to do that you know we were supposed to do you know we we're supposed to be kind of spread out amongst the year you're supposed to do it kind of in between when there's no interviews there's no jobs there's no nothing but because of the COVID situation, this kind of is the only thing I have to do. You know, occasionally we might have like a Zoom interview or some kind of thing with the radio station. But other than that, we've kind of been idle for a while. But since there's nobody in the studio today, or at least not that I know of. So I was thinking that maybe I can give y'all a quick tour of the TV side of our station. Let's go. So, right now, we're heading into the main studio. And actually, before that, let me, let me show y'all something. Show you something really, really cool. Look at this thing. This is an old camera from the 19, I don't know what. I'm not really sure when that camera came out. Have all these recorders, all these old cameras that they used to use back in the 50s and the 60s. Pretty cool. Oh, also, we got trophies. There's actually won quite a few awards. Hmm. And here's the big one, actually. Actually, let me get myself this. I want to be part of this. We won a, what is that? Is that an Emmy? Is that an Emmy? I don't know. But basically, we won a lot of awards. Now, into our, see that studio entrance. These big double doors. First, we're gonna look at studio. This is control room A and B. We're in a spaceship. This place is built just almost like a spaceship, I'm telling you and seeing all the dials and the buttons and the TV monitors and speakers, the control set, all the junk right here. Yeah, pretty cool. Then you have control room A. 
This is basically our main control room. This is where we do most of our in-studio events. It's kind of like the one we use for mostly in-studio where we have a large staff. Usually the director's right here. You know, he has a big microphone that he uses. He has all of the buttons, his switcher, with the monitors you can be able to see. We have somebody back here recording, running all the text, running all the things, the buttons. <laughs> I'm supposed to be a professional, I'm saying things and buttons. You can't see nothing in here. There we go. You can kind of see a little bit better, all the things back here. You have all the gear. Now, if we do this right here, move this door a little bit, you get to come into here, which is the audio room. Ooh. This is my this is my favorite room to buy with me. Got all your audio gear, you got all of the, the switchers, your buttons, your dials, all of your gear, the speakers. Basically, you basically in this room, you run all of the audio for the entire show. You run the event audio, you got your CD player, you got your PC. We've been doing Zoom interviews, so we got that right here. You know, we've been running literally everything. You basically run all of the audio within station, all the audio that's gonna be sent online. You basically run all the audio through this switcher board right here. And you basically get all of your commands through this little speaker system set up right here. You can speak to basically, you can basically speak to somebody right here through this microphone. If, if your director out there wants to talk to you or the director in the studio, the floor director wants to talk to you, you basically get all of your commands and you basically speak to everybody through this room right here. Where we're gonna go now is we're gonna go to the cool room. We're gonna go, you know, we're gonna start off, we're gonna start off small we're going to start off in studio b just wait we're, just wait we're, we're going to go to studio a eventually but we're going to start off in studio b and yes i'm going to make sure to wipe down and clean off all the surfaces that i touch trust me on that this right here is studio b This is the smaller studio. This is the one that we use for smaller interviews, smaller shows, web series. Um, you know, we don't really do we don't really do events in this particular studio. We don't really we don't really do many events in this studio. This is just kind of like the studio we use for smaller gigs, smaller stuff. People come in, they do music in this studio. It's a very, it's a very uh, smaller budget studio. This is one that we use for just smaller things. You know, it's a nice little studio. You know, the ladder has brand new lighting system. Which, oh, oh, we're gonna get to that later. But we have the brand new lighting system up there, which I actually helped wire. And, you know, it's a nice little studio. It's, it's, it's just kind of, this is actually a very common size studio for most TV or even just most production studios. This is like pretty much what you're gonna get size-wise. Like uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what or what most TV studios kind of look like. This is kind of what you're gonna get out of most TV stations. Just saying. Studio A. This is the big one.
yeah this is what we're working with this right here is studio a this right here is studio a we basically have this is i think this is the largest studio in the whole south like like from Tallahassee all the way over to like Pensacola. I want to say this is the largest studio in this whole area. Everything. This place is massive. This is just a small TV set right here. Big old camera, big old Sony camera. Then you have all these big curtains. Look at these curtains right here. Just big old studio set. You have the brand new lighting system. Fun fact, this is actually, these lights up here, we just installed these lights, like, at the beginning of the year. We basically started, we got these, we took down the lights around October of last year, and we started installing these lights about December, January sometime, around that time, February, and it ended up taking us about two and a half months to install these lights. This is over... Six hundred thousand dollars worth of lights, over six hundred thousand dollars worth of lights. Like, that's a house. That's a big house. Okay, that is a baby mansion, depending on where you live at. So, and that's just for the lights. That's just for all the cineals, all the strobe lights, all of the. Uh, I'm having a hard time remembering what the name of these lights are, but these are very, 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 very expensive lights. This is what studio lighting looked like. And another fun fact, I was not I was part of the crew who had to install all these lights. Whenever I got here, there was a very limited staff and we had to basically go up and down. Here, I'm gonna show you this. We had to go up and down. This. Yeah that a ladder we had to go up and down this ladder and basically install all of the lights that you see in this here building <sighs> that's why it took two and a half months to finally get this freaking place installed it took two and a half months to get all these lights up here and this is like one of the few only things that we did for two and a half months but this is Studio A. Now, this is kind of like our loading bay. This is kind of like where all of our junk is, or not junk, but like all of our stuff is. We have like our, what is that? We have our BNC cables right there. We got a workbench over there. We got XLR cables over there. We have tables, chairs, all kinds of gear. We have all of our toting equipment, all of our blocks, stages, platforms, all that's over there. Upstairs, we have gear that we don't even use anymore. It's just kind of up there, props, ideas, things. Got, got all Check this out, look at, look at all of the wires up here. All right, these are the wires that are running up this line way over here and it runs into the studio it runs into studio b over here and the wires also run from here all the way over into studio a right they run all the way over there so yeah that is a lot of wires like it took them literally like four months just to wire and run these wires and these tracks along the system just to even wire up and suit up all these studios and all these lights that's even in these studios so yeah yeah I guess you would call this the brain of the studio This is the brain of the studio. 
This is the brain, okay? This is where everything works. This is all the heart. These are all the systems. These are the motherboards. These are the routers. You have cable on. You have all of the, all of the, basically the internet. This is how we basically get connections across the studio. This is where you would route anything. If you want to put something on the Florida channel, for example, if you want to put something on PBS. We have our call center right here, TVs. We have all of our, so I don't even know what, I don't even know what any of this stuff right here is. <laughs> That's how complex this room is. We have all the gear. And oh yeah, look, those wires that you see outside, they all run into this room and basically run back here in the back of here. And then this is where everything is run to. This is where you set up all your monitor. Here you have your steel monitors, your steel camera, one, two, three, four. Like this is the brain of this station. This is the brain of this station. So we're gonna get out of here because I don't like I don't like touching anything. You're probably wondering where do I get all these tapes from? The tapes and the cassettes that you've seen back in the other room. And this is where I got it from. That's a lot of takes. So that basically wraps up the video. That wraps up the tour of our studio since my battery is about to die. But anyways, if you ever are in Tallahassee and wants to visit our station, come on by. Well, when COVID isn't happening. Anyways, peace.